Um, hi, Babette. Greetings from Pakistan. Here I am back in Karachi in the house that I grew up in and now I have Maha with me who was four when I went to London and now she's almost, she's just turned five. Maha, one sandwich or one sandwich? What's that? And when I was leaving, everybody was asking me, why are you going back to Pakistan? Why are you going back to Pakistan? Isn't it so difficult there? It's so difficult for women, it's so dangerous. But it's difficult for women everywhere, especially those who have children. And as for dangerous, well, it's maybe safer here for us brown people than out in Europe or America, where they're attacking people like us right now because of the attack on the World Trade Center. Hello, Hello. Yeah, we have the sugar, we have the thumb. Yeah. very good. Very interesting. So here I am, back in Pakistan, back in Karachi, where I have to be careful of uh, how I speak, what I wear, how I walk, who I talk to. Um, and I don't bother very much, but that is a pressure and it's difficult to ignore that. But, you know, I think people aren't as worried about the war here as one had thought in London, you know. They, over here, people, nobody thinks there's going to be a war. People say that if there was going to be something by now, they would have uh, had a strike or they would have done something. But there's a lot of worry about the build-up. Why are they building it up so much? Um, they don't need to do that for a little country like Afghanistan, a, you know, a country that's like devastated anyway. People here are asking, you know, what, who, who was behind these attacks? Nobody, well, very few people here believe that it was Osama bin Laden because they say that he's not capable of it. There's no guarantee that the people who attacked that, who attacked the World Trade Center, who are Muslims. In fact, people here believe that Israel was behind the attacks. This is the big rumor during the rounds here that actually it was Israel, it was the United States itself, people say. So people just don't believe that Osama um, and his people did this, and they think that it's uh, Israel that's behind it. I've always needed a friendly neighbor, which he, which it never got. ठीक है जी? उसके बाद तालेबान को क्रिएट करके उन्होंने एक दोस्ताना पड़ोसी पैदा कर दिया. और I mean ये जो दोस्ती निभाते हुए पाकिस्तान को क्या मिला और तालेबान को टेक्निकल क्या मिला? We are one of the three nations of the world who recognize them, right? With you, ये तो सबसे पहले कॉन्सेप्ट है. No, हाँ हम नहीं. Saudi Arabia has Palestinians have declared to support America. Yeah, yeah, because which was no, because which was very funny because the controversy that's going on about those Palestinian children celebrating on the streets, right? A lot of people are saying and everybody's been getting these mails. And that's actually 1991 video footage when Iraq uh, invaded Kuwait, the Palestinian kids were celebrating. But would you say TV pe aaye yasir and apart panic? जंग जंग आप लोगों को बख्तबी अंदाज़ा होगा होगी या नहीं होगी हम तो दुकान में बैठे हैं क्या मालूम है यहाँ पे क्या खबर है यहाँ पे क्या खबर है बस यही रोज़ अखबारें पढ़ते हैं यार रोज़ नई नई खबरें आती अभी की क्या खबर है ताज़ा आज सुबह क्या खबर है कल तो आया था सप्लीमेंट आया था कि भाई अमेरिका � कि भाई अमेरिका हमला करने वाला है कभी ये खबरें आती हैं भाई उसामा को आवाला करेंगे ये खबरें आती हैं कितने आप लोग क्या करते हैं करना चाहिए था नहीं भाई क्यों करना चाहिए कितना the other thing that people are saying is that it's not 
Islam or the Muslim world that has gained from this. In fact, things are much worse for people like us now, all over the world, for, for Muslims, for dark people. It's much, much more difficult now. There's a lot of anger against um, General Musharraf. There's a lot of anger at him for even cooperating with the states to the extent that he has, although there's also a lot of support. So it's, it's very contradictory. There's all kinds of different feelings going around. And I saw my old friend Abdul Hamid Chapra, and he is very angry at Musharraf. <laughs> They should have some spine, so the spineless characters are all gone. No, so if you don't give America to America, then what do you need to give America? You need to give yourself self-respect and dignity. Now, America has done nothing, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to do anything. America has done nothing, you don't have to do anything. Today, the Brigadier Abdul Rahman Siddiqui's article has been written. That's right. He can't die. No, no. America, if you reach 50 body bags, then Bush will go to the government. समझी भी नहीं। If fifty body bags reach the capital, the Bush government will be खत्म। दलील हो जाएगा। वो तो निकाला गया था इसके बाद एक ट्रम के बाद ये आधे ट्रम में मारा जाएगा। I mean I don't know. That kind of anger is very. I mean what else? We don't really have a choice. What could Musharraf do? People say that maybe he should have not capitulated so far, so that he should have at least made a pretense of. You know, trying to be independent, but um, I think beggars can't be choosers. Really, we don't have a choice unless we just decide to be self-sufficient, which I really think we should. But that's not uh, going to help the lending agencies, is it? According to one report, 4,000 Israelis or Jews didn't go to work at the World Trade Center on September 11th. That is what Naveed, the taxi driver who takes my father to his clinic twice a week, believed. But he's, he's a taxi driver. Well, you know, then there's not everybody believes that. My father doesn't believe that. I don't believe that. Osama bin Laden, Pajlzama, Asal Mujrimi, Sahil bhi ho sakta hai. Pata nahi, ye khabar kuch lagta da nahi, ki sahi ho sakti hai, ki kuch chaar hazaar admiyo ko, kaan o kaan, ye khabar di jaye, कि वो ना जाएं इसलिए कि हमला होने वाला है तो ये बात तो छुप सकती नहीं ना मतलब बहुत फैल जाएगी हाँ और दूसरे ये कि यहूदियों का कोई ऐसा दुश्मनी तो अमेरिका से है नहीं ना ये तो किसी बहुत ही ऐसी पार्टी ने किया है काम जिनकी बहुत सख्त दुश्मनी है अमेरिका से है ना तो इस्राइलियों को त ये तो बहुत ही ऐसी ऐसी पार्टी ने किया है जो कि इतनी सब दुश्मनी अमेरिका से है कि वो अपनी जान दे देंगे और तो ये वो ही देखें ना उस दिन वो कोलो क्यों नहीं आए उनमें से इतने बंदे मरे हैं ना उसमें से इस्राइली कोई भी नहीं मरा ये कैसे पता कि नहीं मरा छह हजार मरे हैं उसमें से तो पता इंग्लैंड के भी हैं बहुत सारे अखबारों में ये रिपोर्ट आ रही है बार बार है ना अखबार में 245 बंदे मर रहे हैं किसी में पहले दिन पहले दिन ही आ गए चार हजार आदमी मर गए अभी दूसरे दिन ही ना खबर में आई है अभी ना तो एक दो दिन पहले आए थे 245 बंदे मर रहे हैं टोटल लाशें � पड़ा हुआ है कि छह महीने लगे हैं उसको साफ करने में कैसे कैसे तो अभी टीवी में नहीं दिखाते उसको साफ करते हुए जब बाहर दूर से दिखाते हैं कि मरवा पड़ा हुआ है उसको साफ करते हुए नहीं दिखा रहे दिखा रहे दिखाते हैं वगैरह दिखाते हैं बराबर बराबर जो है तो है अच्छा चलें देखें मालूम I go and visit my friend Aisha um, and we talk more about this and this is what everybody is talking about, um, why this happened. You know the doubts on Osama have started already. They are not coming out with it. But there are doubts about Osama that it's not Osama. No, no, of course, here the people are... No, even you're saying they are feeling that. Do you think so? They are feeling that because they say that they don't have anything concrete and they're still not sure. But of course, they still want to go ahead with it because this was a thorn in their side. They, it's a good excuse to get rid of all this, but of course, they know okay, it's not that. What I don't understand is that they have such lousy intelligence. Nobody speaks Arabic in the CIA and the FBI. Yes, they know that they're FBI. hiring people. Even like a handful oh, of people speak yeah. Arabic. They couldn't translate material that came in warning of this attack, by the way. It came into the FBI or the CIA some weeks ago. Nobody was there to translate these facts. The media covers 
the big processions that that are violent. It makes good pictures, you know, all these bearded men shouting slogans and all that. That's, you know, good press, it's good copy, so the media has a field day. There is so much, so many calls for restraint, and friends of my, friends ask me, you know, given all the emails that we exchange and all the uh, discussions that we're having on email, why don't we hear these voices on the mass media? Why don't we hear these voices on television, on radio, in, in the so-called popular press? You know, because over there, the, all you get is war hysteria, basically. That's what it seems like, anyway. The Pakistan television channels are, you know, the news is very strictly controlled by the government. And at the strike the other day when they showed protesters burning an effigy of Bush, the PTV apparently sacked seven employees for having shown that footage because they didn't want to annoy Bush. अमेरिकन्स के सब तरफ से डॉलर्स आएंगे बाहर अंग्रेजों ने ढाई सौ साल दो सौ साल घूमा थी ना पैसों से पैसों से की ना तो वो पैसा उनको मिलेगा तो वो तो पकड़ पकड़ के दे देंगे ना हाँ वो तो पाँच वो पचास बिग मिलियन डॉलर के दोस्त वो तो काफी वो तो हर ट्राइबल सरदार फिकर में होगा कहीं देखा लेकिन � एक आध दो बम्बिंग रेट हो जाए दूसरी बात है वरना कोई जंग कैसे नहीं इसको इसको हटाएंगे निकालना कैसे बिजार जाएं आपके ठीक ठाक आप बताइए क्या हाल है हम समझ रहे थे आप अमेरिका में होंगे क्यों भाई क्यों क्यों क्या मतलब क्या मेरी नेशनल टीम है नहीं आप मुझे बताइए क्या मेरी अमेरिकन नेशनल टीम है ग्रीन कार्ड है जहाजों से मिजाइल दो चार दाव देंगे मतलब कहाँ क्यों कैसे भाई वो मुल्लाओं को आपके मुल्क से खत्म करना चाहते हैं तो वो तो भम्म ही खत्म करना चाहते हैं वो तो भम्म ही चाहते हैं देखिए ना वो बेसिक उनका जो इंटेंशन है वो ये है आप मुल्ला के खंडन से नहीं कि इस इलाके से मुल्लाओं का जोर जो है वो तोड़ दिया जाए इसलिए कि एक परमानेंट � इनके लड़के जो हैं, उनकी ब्रेन वॉशिंग करने के बाद उनकी ट्रेनिंग के लिए भेजा जाता है, एंड देन दे आर सेंट टू काबुल एंड कश्मीर फॉर जहाद। और आपके मुल्क में इस बात कोई यूँ समझ लीजिए कोई चार हजार के करीब दीनी मदरसे हैं, चार हजार मदरसों में कोई तीन चार लाख स्टूडेंट्स पढ़ते हैं। उनमें और सबसे बड़ा मरकज जो है कराची है। The general feeling is one of extreme distrust for why the United States is building up so much in this area, and you know what can be done, how can Pakistan, you know, retain its dignity, and which is very difficult now given that we sort of like beggars with begging bowl. You know, just for dollars and for aid, we're sort of like doing anything, you know, whatever America asks us to do practically. I mean, it was Bush who set this agenda, you're either with us or against us. Well, the Muslims didn't set this agenda, they, they did. And that's exactly what the Osama types would have wanted. Okay, so now you have to state your side. Pakistan leader General Musharraf met the EU delegation earlier and said that Pakistan won't be cutting ties with the Taliban. Uh, I think we should. One Indian journalist uh, called Musharraf, Busharraf. Bush is really, really, I mean, I think he's really out to make political capital of this. Cowboy Bush, that's what we call him here. He's just like, you know, the language of the Wild West. He, you know, us and them and those who are not with us are against us and all this sort of, you know, nonsense. I don't know what world he lives in. I think he's watched too many cowboy films, really. And actually, it's quite scary because he has so much support. I mean, he's got the highest ratings right now of any U.S. president. And CNN um, showed that Bush, is, uh, his job approval is something like 90%, which is the highest any president, U.S. president, has had. Uh, the European trust in all of this is that uh, we should be able to think about the right response. We need to engage the Muslim world. Because the debate is on whether they like it or not. The debate is on, mm. and in the debate, um, the real issues are being broached. Why would people want to commit suicide and yeah. hurt America? What is America doing with its foreign policy? Yeah. 
who have they hurt so badly that they're willing to do this? Mm. And in asking these questions, you're going to raise a debate and raise many issues that are interlinked with this, that have, uh, you know, that then, <coughs> if addressed can create a much better f tomorrow for everybody. My father gets quite sick of television sometimes and so he says it's the same old thing, it's just the building up all this war hype and stuff and then his favorite thing is who wants to be a millionaire, the um, Indian version of it. I went to Sadar Bazaar in the center of Karachi and was struck by the fact that I was about the only woman visible. Most women one sees on the streets tend to have their heads and bosoms covered in dupattas. Increasingly you see them with hijabs, those Islamic headscarves that are historically Jewish actually. At the park the other evening, I played football with Maha. There was only one other woman, woman without a dupatta. I wonder what will happen if the creeping Talibanization of society that we are witnessing took hold or got official sanction as it has in the past. That is the biggest fear of women like me in Pakistan, who have more individual freedom than our less fortunate sisters.